Okay, this video is going to address, I'm getting a lot of comments saying that I'm simply mimicking or copying Martin Ball. I find it really strange that somebody would teach something and put as much energy into their teachings as much as Martin Ball has. He's got tons of videos online, he's got written tons of books, he does interviews all the time. He's got his podcast, he does all this work, and he puts all this emphasis into his teachings. And then somebody like me comes along that starts to showcase his teachings in a way that's... Well, in such a way that people are thinking that I'm mimicking him or I'm copying him. Like, could it simply be the fact that his teachings are actually correct and true? Now, could it be simply true that I apply his teachings to my own life with my own work with psychedelics and that I would get similar results is that an option like yes I do not show the inhalation on YouTube you know I'm making these videos and I'm trying to show as much as possible but I also want the videos to stay online I'd imagine if I actually showed myself inhaling from the pipe that that the videos would have a chance to be taken down or at least a higher chance to be taken down. But then even there, I'd probably get comments saying it wasn't even 5-MeO. Now if you actually listen to my voice, my voice changes. Yeah, my voice actually changes like he talks about his voice changing. Who I am reality. Yes. I don't, like I can't imitate that. And even if I did, I would notice, because I'm trying to find my own center. I'm trying to be centered in myself. You know, I did go through a period where the voice came out, and then the ego would imitate the voice. And then I remember it so distinctly. The ego was imitating the voice, and then the God, the God part of me simply just said, you cut it out. Like, I can't even... I can't even replicate it, but it was basically cut it out with that bullshit. And it was so deep, I just cut myself off from doing it. So I've crossed that boundary of imitation long, long ago. Basically, I'm taking medicine and I'm remaining symmetrical. And people are claiming that because they aren't able to remain symmetrical, or because I open my eyes, that's, that was another one. Because I'm able to open my eyes on the medicine that it can't be real. Or because, or somebody's done it, f yeah, I got, yeah. Somebody messaged me today, I've done it four times now and it just doesn't look like that. It just, it's absolute bollocks is what their comment was. Okay, the very first time I smoked 5-MeO, I didn't take enough. The second time I smoked 5-MeO, it was a complete blackout. I do not remember it. The third time was about of seven times. I smoked seven times in one, one session. I wanted to break through so badly. I didn't care what happened. I needed to break through. And every single time I rolled around and I fought with it and I like just pussing out of my mouth and I was, I'd run to the toilet and I'd throw up and I'm, I'm rolling around my bed and I just couldn't remain symmetrical. But over time, I keep bringing myself back. And over time, my latest videos is the result of that practice. There's just no other way about it. Now, and this is also coupled with, you know, at one point I was meditating 12 hours a day. I did that for three to four months. Um, that trailed off. 12 hours a day was too much. It just, I didn't enjoy it, but... That's what I ended up doing and that trailed off and I've kept a consistent meditation practice so it feels silly to even make this video that I have to um, like almost justify the work that I'm putting in because that's what happens when you know you go against the norm I guess you know, I really don't know what's causing them to um, to act out yeah either they can't get the results 
or Martin Ball is the only one that has the rights to this healing. Yeah, Martin Ball has the only rights to this style of healing. Even though he teaches it and emphasizes it and puts all this energy into sharing his knowledge and his experience, he's the only one that can do it. So anybody else that does it is a simply mocking of him. My movements aren't as smooth as his. I totally agree with that. Um, I'm, I'm still clearing out energy. The videos that I'm showing are medicine sessions. It's not me just playing with 5-MEO. It's I'm fucking terrified going into those experiences. And uh, But as the energy... As I'm clearing out energy, I'm getting further and further, and I'm even my very last video that I did, that was the very first time that I started doing what he calls fractal energetic yoga. You know, I, I'm just showing it as it happens. I don't know. It's new to me too, so. But, but that's it, yeah. That's really all I have to say. You know, if you don't believe me, then, well, then don't believe me. Hopefully this content reaches people that find it useful. That's that's really all I'm doing it for. Yeah, on that note, thanks for watching. You have yourself a fantastic day. If you found this video mildly entertaining in any way, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys next time.